What's up, guys? Um, straight after the Ulster vs Northampton Challenge Cup quarterfinal game. And unlike last week, what a game this was. Absolute end-to-end -end stuff. And uh, for me, as an Ulster man, I'm so happy tonight. And Because um, I thought that we were going to bottle it again. Because as, as this Ulster mentality is, we just can't seem to get certain things over the line. They're big enough, but tonight we got over the line with this one. And... Um, Proud to support Ulster tonight and move, moving on to the Challenge Cup semi final. I thought from the start, we did we we obviously conceded the try to Northampton, which is like okay, we'll we'll build on this. There's still time in the game. I thought Northampton took that try very well, and then I think Northampton get a few players simbined in the process, and then Ulster. You, it, now, if you're in rugby, you, you would if you got if you if the options is aside. Is being sent in for about maybe two to three players. You expect Ulster to to, to get a few maybe two tries out of it. No, well, it, it took us a lot a long time to do that. We we got about fourteen points to seven, I think, on the lines of getting the getting the first sort of real points on the board, which we did. But we let Northampton into it again. But we let Northampton into the game again, and um, I just felt it was one of those nights where, you know. Northampton were going to come with a good plan against us, and it seemed to work the way I was going. So Northampton take the lead, and uh, this is a case for Ulster in the second half. Where what's this mentality going to be? Because are we going to ball it again, or are we going to show we'll fight and go on and win this? And we after it was, I think Northampton missed the conversion, so that made it twenty seven points to twenty one, and I'm thinking. Ulster, get just, just get the, the ball as much as you can now. Get over the line here, and we did, and we ended up getting twenty eight twenty seven out of that. We took the lead by one point, and then yeah, we I think after that we were pretty comfortable. We didn't need to panic at all. I don't think, and um, we ended up. I mean, Jordy Murphy for me was my man of the match, and um, absolutely, totally deserved it as well. And um, for me, what he was doing the whole night was. Getting Ulster up that line and with along the likes of Balakun and Stockdale on the wings, just patiently waiting to get that trying to push for try, and we ended up getting the try, and Stockdale got it, and I was it was like almost like this relief going yes we don't need to panic now we can do, we've got they, they need they need to, they need a try and a and a bit of three points to to win the game but I don't think Ulster had them to defend but we we ended up defending really really well and um. You know, for for me, Ulster, they're in a, they're in a good space of mind. You know what I mean, and uh, this is very much, very much passionate win, and this and it all goes a lot of credit goes tonight to the players and the coaching staff. You know, Dan McFarland and um, Dan Sober and all the rest of them. You know, you know what they're doing is 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 giving us an identity of Ulster of what it needs to be. Yes, Leinster are are obviously the team that. Will keep winning Pro Four teams with the squad they've got, and you can't blame them for that. I think for Ulster now, just could keep competing, and then that will be really happy with that. And I think in this Challenge Cup, it's a great opportunity for us to win the trophy. And you have the teams now in Montpellier, Leicester, and Bath left in the competition. And what I want, who I will want in the next round, I want Montpellier because because they're because they're not as bad better than Bath and Leicester in my opinion at, at the moment. You know and um. So when I'm hoping Ulster could get a home tie as well. So roll on, I would say roll on the Challenge Cup semi-finals because um, this is a good opportunity for us to really go on and win the trophy. And so I'm really happy tonight for Ulster. And I, I'm, I'm going to round up here on um, the rest of the European Cup round games. I'm going to start off with Sales Sharks versus La Rochelle. They... I expected La Rochelle to win comfortably, and I think they did in the end. I heard, I heard it was like a really dodgy game in the first half, and I think La Rochelle just took took the game to Seal Sharks in the end. And you know, I think Ronald Gar is doing a great job with La Rochelle, and um, you know, I would love to see Leinster versus La Rochelle in the European Cup final, because you know you have that Irish connection there. But um, I I'm rooting for all the Irish teams you know, in any European competition away from Ulster, but um, I'm glad. So that's on to the next game, which is Leinster. They actually went on. It was a very, it was a very, very end to end game in the extra Leinster game, and um, Leinster ended up winning. But it could have went to Exeter, you know, the way they were playing. That showed great passion and urgency to stay in the game. 
but fair play to Leinster. That's Exeter's European Cup title ended by Leinster, and they move on to the semi finals. So I'll be, I'll be rooting for Leinster in the European Cup, and I'll be rooting for Ulster in the Champions Cup. So I'm hoping for a, an all Irish finals in both competitions. So there you go, and um, I think Clermont and Toulouse will play tomorrow as long as Bordeaux and the rest of the teams. And I think tomorrow will be interesting to see where the competition goes. All I know semi finals were rimming on the, around the corner, and it's looking good. Ulster happy, all good is happy in the, in the rugby right now. So um, I'm glad you w watched this video. Make sure to give it a like and comment and subscribe. There'll be definitely more content coming out in very soon in this week or very soon and um, make sure to subscribe and like and um, I'll see you guys later thank you